Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a background stamp and I am just going to show you, see all those pink highlighted background stamps in the catalogue on page 175? They are all retiring. Um, lots and lots of background stamps going and they're something that I use actually quite a lot in, in classes. Um, really good fun to use. So what I'm going to do is to show you how to use Wildflower Meadow. Now it could be that I've done other videos on this but it hasn't been out of my cupboard this one for a little while but some of my background stamps I use all the time. So I'm tapping all over in Pear Pizzazz and then I'm going to take um, a cotton bud or q-tip as it's called elsewhere in the world. We call them a cotton bud in the UK and I always go to say q-tip right and just take some of that green color off because with this flower i'm going in with yellow and this is daffodil delight and i'm going to go over that that flower in the yellow i'm going to do that again on that big flower there and it's just to remove some of the ink that's on there so that i don't get loads of green ink on my on my nice um stamp and write marker. I'm using the brush tip and you can see I'm using the side of the tip. You don't want to go downwards with your brush markers. And I'm going to take some more colours. These are more vibrant so I'm not worried about the ink mixing so much on these. This is Bermuda Bay and I'm going to pick out some of those flowers. And, oops, little one there. But have them on the same stem and the same colour. And then this one is Tangerine Tango. And I'm going to do that one there. And these little flowers down here. And these over here. Now this is the marker to stamp technique. I've left that for a little while, so I'm just going to huff on my, on my stamp. I need to bring this to my face, so away from the camera. Just to moisten up that ink. And then this is the way that I like to do this, is to lay the cardstock on the top as a piece of Whisper White. And then keep one hand still, rub the other hand over. And there you go. And you've got some nice mixed colours um, done with that marker to stamp technique. Now, a couple of other little things. I'm going to give my little bird an eye because he needs one. Otherwise he can't see where he's going. I'm going to put a little bit of colour into the middle of those flowers there and some of the yellow I'm going to pick out in the middle of the blue ones. Okay. So really lovely background stamp and really easy to do that with mixed colours as well as doing it as a general background just with one paler colour. Now there's a couple of things that go with this which are also retiring. I'm reaching for the first one. Now this is um, an embossing folder and basically you can line up the images with that matching embossing folder and emboss or deboss all of those images. I'm going to grab my texture boutique. Now this is something else that's going but I bet you still see me using this from time to time because it's so useful as a little tool. If you've got a big shot, honestly, you don't need one of these, but I always have my magnetic plate on my big shot, so having this out on my desk means I don't have to change plates when I'm embossing. It's also very little if I'm going around and crafting with friends elsewhere or I'm doing a class, so I'm keeping my texture boutique, but again, that is on the retired list. 
Now, I don't know how well you can see this. I'm going to try and tip it. Hopefully you're picking up some of the shadow of where that's embossed. And it's really effective. Now, if you haven't seen that, I just wanted to show you how nice that is. OK. Now, we can put a little greeting on there. And I thought I'd use this one from Chalk Talk. Another set that's retiring, but we are keeping the matching framelits to this one because we've got other stamps that go with that. But I'm going to use that. So grateful there's you in the world. And I'm going to use exactly the same technique just to show on a regular stamp. And I'm going to just highlight that there's you with the Bermuda Bay over the top of the green. So just go in there and, and highlight that. Let's give that a quick huff. There we go. Grab my um, large wide oval punch. And punch that out. And just pop that up on a couple of dimensionals. It's so tactile to have the embossing on the card. You just, you want to kind of reach out and touch it. It's a, it's a really lovely effect. And it's not something that we've got um, with any other stamp set that I can think of, um, that you can have the embossed, the stamp itself embossed. So there you go. I hope that's picking up well on the camera. Very pretty stamp set. If you want it, rush off to my... Um, uh, my shop via my um, elizabethscraftroom.blogspot.com and just click buy it now and you can have a look and see what's still available and hopefully by the time you're watching that this will still be available and you can grab it for your collection. Nice to, to, to see you today, thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. Love.